Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about free alternatives to Windows Media Center. Now, what is Media Center? Well, it kind of is what it says. It's a collection of all your things that you have on your computer uh, in an easy to use menu. So if you want to see all your pictures in one go, then you just go onto My Pictures and it will show you all in a nice screen. Now, this is ideal if you have uh, like a big TV. I've, I've got a big flat screen TV. Uh, just across the room and I've got my desktop PC linked to it. Now I don't have Windows Media Center um, edition on my computer, I've got Windows XP Professional so I'm lacking this Media Center functionality and um, I believe that, I'll show you Windows Vista's one that looks slightly nicer, uh, you get this with Home Premium and Ultimate, I don't think you get it in Business or Home Basic. So uh, this is the premium version so if you don't own the premium version of um, Windows Vista then you're stuck and us XP users are stuck as well XP Pro users or home users because uh, we can't actually buy uh, Windows XP Media Center Edition it only comes pre-installed on certain PCs so unfortunately we are screwed in terms of trying to get Windows Media Center however we can use some free alternatives now I have Media Portal here and GBPVR. They both do pretty much exactly the same as what Media Center does. I have a feeling that B GBPVR um, concentrates more on the TV part, but we'll start it up anyway and we'll have a look. So, if I start with Media Portal, now there's several things you can do with Media Portal. One of the one of the things I saw um, when I first started it is it has weather, so I configured this to add my town, and I will show you it um, when it starts. As you can see, there's so many different things that you can do for this. Um, with me Windows Media Center, it's hard to configure. There isn't many options in there. But you can see here, there's so many things you have, like video decoders and um, re remote controls. You can have, um, you can configure like practically any, R any IR remote control, infrared remote control, uh, to run. And you can map your keys as well to do anything. So it's quite good, really, this uh, media portal. Uh, you can get loads of plugins, but I haven't even tried to investigate that just yet. You can see I've got MSN here, Wikipedia. So several things. So really, it's extending Windows Media Center, but putting its own thing on top of it. So if I start Media Portal and show you it, you can see we've got a loading screen here. And you'll notice that straight away, hopefully the video hasn't lagged, but you'll notice that straight away it's kind of copying the Windows Media Center feel. So you see the blue here, and it's got blue here. And uh, we've got a clock here. This is the Media Center Media Portal logo. Uh, obviously, you can run this full screen on external screens and things like that, but I'm just running it inside a window to show you what it's like. Now, I assume this is to power off the PC. That exits it. This one is to run a video in the background. I'm not sure what this does. Let's click it. Ah, Basic Home. Well, that's quite good. So basically, you can just switch through my TV, my music, my pictures, my videos. Oh, I quite like that actually, <laughs> so it's a very basic view if you really want to um, do that. Now obviously it's reacting to my mouse going up and down so I'm going to keep my mouse still and show you. I'm going to go to my weather. So you can see that if you had this on your TV, you had it in, in big, and also there's this pop-up menu <laughs> that shows you, um, then you can see the weather on your TV. Now you can't do that with uh, Media Center, I'm not sure if there's a plugin that does it, but um, I've had me Windows Media Center Edition before and that this functionality hasn't been in there. So I think it's maybe one of the, well, one of the selling points of Media Portal even though it's free. So it looks like this is this is good. Uh, if I go to my videos, um, go on to movies, I've got like the Lord of the Rings and things like that. So uh, you can see we've got a viewfinder window and then it will start the movie if I press enter. So uh, this is very good. So um, that is Media Portal. Now next up is GBPVR. Now you can see they've got their configuration things there. I'm not sure how GBPVR is. And you can see this is the startup. That's another thing. With Media Portal and GBPVR you can skin them. Uh, you can't do that with Windows Media Center or they're very, very hard to find. If you can, because I've never been, I've tried to do it before, and I, there is hardly any websites at all that talk about it. So, um, Media Portal or GBPVR, they can both be skinned, and I'm sure there's several skins on the internet that you can use for them. Uh, they only come with one. I think Media Portal comes with a blue version and a blue wide widescreen version. Um, but you can see this one's the, the main one for GBPVR. 
Now it's uh, it's kind of the same as the Media Portal configuration, and it's got all the codecs and DVD remotes and things like that processing. So uh, I, this has this doesn't look like it has the weather thing, but I will show you what it's like when you start it up. Now if I cancel this, now obviously these are, these can be used for TV purposes because you have a remote control and you point it and you can watch all TV channels. But unfortunately, I don't have a TV card in my computer, so um, I can't show you what it's like with the TV on. So I apologise for that, but I'm just going to show you the um, what it looks like when you turn them on. So you can see it kind of looks the same as Media Portal, only a little bit darker, and it's got different things here. So there's the next recording here. Uh, so we've got Music Library, move this down a bit, Video Library, Photo Library. Um, I've got a feeling this is delaying the video, so I apologise for that. So if I was to go on Video Library, you can see it's come up with all my folders, so I suppose I can choose. Um, live TV, search guide, DVD, photo library, no DVD is in the drive. <laughs> Net radio, YouTube, well, that's interesting. So it's got a YouTube plugin here. Uh, if I go top rated, if I go top rated, if I have to contact YouTube, try again later. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, my internet's working fine, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Should we try again? No? Yes? Most recent. That's contact YouTube. Okay, well it appears that this doesn't work, but it might work on yours, obviously. If you're, um, if it, it, perhaps it's um, needing a firewall or something. It needs me to unblock it in the firewall. But anyway, um, so this is GBPVR, and that was Media Portal, and they are both uh, free alternatives to Windows Media Center. So they both have pretty much the same fu functionality, and you can use the remotes and stuff, and put it on your big screen TVs. And uh, obviously you can get it with uh, Vista with um, Home Premium and Ultimate. So uh, thanks for watching my video. If you know of any more of these, then please let me know. Um, I apologise again for not being able to show you the TV or um, a video running or anything like that. It's just to show you the basics. And you can try these out for yourself. I'll provide the links in the description. And um, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks for watching.